My name is Tiffany. I run a small design business called Kudzu Monster. I live, work, and fill orders from all over the country in a school bus that my husband and I turned into a tiny house. So I worked for a while as an in-house staff designer for a pretty big design company. There I was, I was liking the work I was doing, uh, but kind of found myself wanting to travel a lot more than two weeks vacation time would let me. I started a little Etsy shop on the side while I was working full time at that design company. And I was just kind of playing around with different products. But after a while, I started to see my numbers increase and thought, you know, maybe this side hustle could turn into a real business. My Etsy sales really kind of took off. Um, I kind of realized that this was my chance. So I put in my notice at work, I cut back my expenses the best I could, and I went all in on my little design business. Something crazy happened. For the first time, I was able to have control of my own time. You know, I had to get done what needed to be done, but once I did that, my time was my own, and I could spend that time camping or taking road trips or hiking, and I don't know, it was a new, incredible feeling. It had been our dream for years to travel full time, and finally, I thought maybe that would be a possibility. I had been in business for about two years and my sales kept growing and I thought, you know what, this is our chance. It was in fall of 2016 that my husband and I decided to buy a retired school bus to convert into our tiny house on wheels. When we were planning our schoolie conversion, I knew that I had to make good places to store all the things that made my business possible. I needed a place where I could put my oversized printer, which allows me to print 11 by 14 inches. I needed a place for all of my different papers and labels, inks, shipping materials, and it all had to be centered around a large workspace where I would be able to get work done and be comfortable and sit and design for hours when I needed to. I make a lot of different kinds of products on my shop. Many are paper products that customers can download and put together themselves. Others, like my pet portraits, I create and ship directly. Since my business is entirely online, I can accept orders and fulfill orders anywhere in the country. So far, we've shipped products from nine different states while we've been on the road. I do have some help with my business. My husband, Zach, helps me come up with product ideas, punny phrases for greeting cards and stuff, and he does something pretty important. He photographs my listings for me. In our old house, we had a whole room dedicated as a photo studio, but in a tiny space, we found that we have to be a lot more minimal. What we came up with is a really simple setup of a white wood backdrop and we rely on natural light. As a tiny business owner, I wear most of the hats. I do my own trend research, marketing, and self-promotion. I'm the designer, customer service, and product fulfillment. It's definitely a lot to take on, mostly solo. But running my own business and being my own boss, it allows me to live life on my own terms. 
It is hard work. There's times where I work for two months straight without a weekend. But that's because I choose to and because my business is important to me. There's nobody telling me when and where I have to be working. So I'm, you know, I can choose to take a nap in the middle of the day or I can, you know, take a month off and explore a national park. At the end of the day, I'm the one in control of my time and I wouldn't trade that for the world.